Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about Luca and Sampo, specifically which one of these two characters you should build first or not at all for your Kafka team. A lot of people ask me this question on my stream, I stream daily over on my Twitch channel, so there are many specific scenarios where Sampo or Luca might be a better choice for you depending on what you have on your account. So let's first start with Sampo. What is the benefit with Sampo over Luca right now? The first benefit is the following. Sampo has excellent free-to-play light con choices from Eyes of the Prey to Good Night Sleep and Well and Fermata as well. So there's plenty of options to go with Sampo. So the biggest advantage of building Sampo first for the Kafka team is that his Eidolons are available from the shop. You can buy his Eidolons with Starlight basically twice per year. So you will be able to build his Eidolons over time. For example, I got zero copies of Sampo on Kafka Banner. So I was fortunate that I actually bought him when he was available in the shop. I haven't finished building my Sampo yet, but as the time goes, I will also buy Eidolons from the shop to try to reach this E6 eventually, which will definitely help a lot for the Kafka team. So this is one of the major power advantages for Sampo especially if you ended up with E0 Luca and E0 or low Eidolons on both characters, you'll be able basically to get more Eidolons over time with Sampo guaranteed, unlike Luca. The problem with Luca Eidolons is this 4-star event character is not available in the shop, so meaning you cannot ever get guaranteed dupes of this character unless if they give you throughout an event. So technically, you can get E6 Sampo guaranteed over the years, Luca not possible. Possible. All right, so if you're looking for power over time, Sampo is definitely a safe choice and investment. If you do have more Eidolons for Luca, we'll also cover that and talk about how to go with it. But before we go to that, I'd also like to mention about Sampo gameplay capabilities, all right? So for Sampo team, let's say you go Locha, Sampo, Kafka, and then you play with, let's say, you take here Pella, Silurwolf, Asta, Tingyun, something like that. One big advantage of Sampo specifically is he works excellent for auto play as well. Sampo is basically excellent for mobbing fights, multi target as well. And due to him applying wind shear from all of his abilities, thanks to the passive talent, you'll be able to get a lot of wind shears even on auto play, no matter what Sampo does, which is very, very amazing, very, very nice. I have tested Sampo on support, a fully built Sampo. On auto play, it worked great. Regarding Luca, we will talk about that as we get to him but for Sampo definitely an absolute safe choice to build first for your Kafka team you do not need to play Sampo and Luca at the same time first of all so you can easily start with Sampo he's gonna work excellent for auto play content mobbing even single target fights it can work but do keep in mind if the enemy do not have that wind element and you would need physical or something like that there is always Silver Wolf option as well if you do happen to have it let's go to our boy Luca now. So what are the advantages of Luca? Luca is amazing single target fighter. So for boss fights, single target elite fights, Luca is gonna provide a lot of value for your team. Personally, I would only recommend building Luca over Sampo on your account for your Kafka team that is if you have high Eidolons. If you do not have high Eidolons on Luca or they're about the same as Sampo or Sampo has more Eidolons, I would recommend still going for Sampo and also because Luke Eidolons are not available in the shop, meaning over time your Sampo will keep getting stronger guaranteed, meanwhile Luca not so much, unfortunately. However, if you did get lucky and you got high Eidolons to begin with, let's say you got E4, E6, something like that, you have high Eidolons on him, he's definitely gonna be a powerhouse. So what are the good things about him? The single target bleed he provides, it's pretty good, excellent ult as well for fighting a single target boss slash elite however i noticed one problem with luca auto play on auto play luca was not always using the skill on targets that did not have bleed to begin with sometimes it was just using basic attack and not even applying the bleed there are also situations where luca had multiple stacks of fighting wheel where he had normal enhanced attack but decided to use the skill instead to reapply the dot when it was not needed because the 
dot last three turns okay so look it seems to be a bit uh, sus on how to play some pot in my experience at least played much much better on how to play so luca could be problematic if you do plan to use him for how to play farming so be aware of that one as for his light con choices unfortunately they're not as flexible free to play wise as sampo because you cannot really use effectively fermata on him i mean you could use fermata on him with kafka because you would have shock on enemies to do more damage however the problem is if you would ever use luca on his own especially luca with eidolons could work on his own as well and you don't have the shock then a light can like this would not be that great meaning you're pretty much better off with good night sleep well or pearls uh, light con which is also excellent because he does have multi hits you're gonna get this defense shred after all so these are basically the options for luca personally i have decided to build my sampo first i have both characters at e0 i got one copy of luca but uh, i know that i will get more copies of sampo over the years from the shop so i'll get e1 whenever he's gonna be in rotation again in a few months we'll get sampo again we're gonna get this e1 and slowly build our way towards e6 of course there is another dilemma as well they might as well at some point release some new future five star dot damage dealer that could also be really good for kafka and if that does happen there is a possibility that maybe even if you build high eidolons of sampo over time that perhaps sampo might not be the best option with kafka anymore so that's another potential risk you have to be aware of this can also happen with luca as well of course because right now we do not have any five star dot damage dealer so it's only a matter of time when they actually release something that that could work really well with kafka personally my plan is to stick with sampo for now and potentially at some point i might build luca but from how to play experience i was not that impressed all right because there is a lot of stuff when we farm and do a lot in how to play all right and i really want my units to work in a decent way on how to play however if you're okay with uh, how to play a bit being sus then it's perfectly fine keep in mind that luca that i have played on how to play was e0 so there could be a difference perhaps with eidolons where uh, luca might play somewhat differently that i am not sure so just keep that in mind as for teams overall what i would recommend going for is basically locha sampo kafka and the last slot being something like silver wolf asta or even uh, pella will work great uh, some people are also trying and using ting yun there were also some people using it with bronya but realistically you will use bronya and other teams where you'll get much much more value out of that so these are the teams that personally i will run personally i will run something like this most of the time however for this team the problem for how to play silver wolf is not that great on how to play so for how to play i would probably put to some extent uh, asta or tingyun just because they work better on how to play pella could also technically work slightly better than silver wolf on how to play but uh, she will spam the skill a lot uh, and you will be dry with skill points potentially for your kafka and sampo which could be problematic so this is basically an how to play team and for manual play i would mostly go with silver wolf but also even with aston manual play depending what you play against the speed from asta especially have high eidolons and probably built with meshing cogs and everything all that it's very nice to have this is the dot team that i'm going to play in the coming week or two depending how long it's going to take to build sampo especially level up the relic xp which is the most uh, painful thing so we we shall see how that goes but of course uh, you can definitely play whatever you you like outside of memory of chaos it's gonna work just fine for example since i don't have my units built yet i'm mostly running at least a simulated universe i'm basically playing locha asta kafka and serval even this is not a great team per se but it still works for the mobbing content that i do like in simulated universe and what not so that's that so do not be stressed too much about it because at the end of the day it does depend what is the game content that you actually do in the game because 
because if you do not do memory of chaos a lot of these uh, team optimizations might not be that important to you whatsoever of course if you want to see bigger damage on your favorite character then you will have to optimize that all right guys uh, that's all for this video i hope it was uh, useful and i wish you the best of luck in pulling kafka for those who are still pulling kafka hopefully you got lots of luca or sampo eidolons whatever you prefer to play more that is and as always don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more honky star content i wish you a wonderful day and see you in the next video